This vlog is sponsored by Back to the Future Music Limited, representing since 2008. Run the thing. Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media family to my vlog. I know it's been nearly a month. It's been nearly a month since I've um, touched base with you guys. There's been good reason as to why I haven't. Reason being is that I've been working on an album, one of three. And also, I haven't been well. I'm getting over a chest infection at the minute. All is blessed and all is well. But I couldn't um, let another day go by without touching base with you guys for various reasons. And one of the reasons in particular, thanking Lady TLC and all that's involved with TLC Global Media in putting on the AWSL Music Awards event, which was held at the Holiday Inn in Bloomsbury last Sunday. Why am I talking about the event? Um, but it kind of escapes me at the minute. Why it's so obvious. I'm just having a senior, senior moment. Um, um, Oh yeah, yeah. It's on the basis that I was nominated for four awards and I took home three. And not only that, a few of the award recipients were represented by Back to the Future Music, spearheaded by the one and only Kennedy President Mensah. I have to kind of lie because he's an Arsenal fan, but you know what I mean? Those are the crosses we got a bit. But I want to thank him. I want to thank all the people that turned up. I want to thank the attendees that turned up for the simple fact that they're supporting the team. Now, as much as there was a lot of congratulations flowing around the place and also flowing around social media by accounts, because I haven't touched social media until today, there are a minority who are basically talking about, well, what is this supposed to represent? I'm going to get to you guys in a little bit, but before that, I want to get into why I won these and why it means a lot to me, why I won these. The categories that I was nominated for, I was nominated for best single, best video, best album, and honorary or honoree artist of 2019. I won three. I won honorary artist, best video, best single. Why they mean a lot to me is simply, they were for collaborative efforts on both ends of the scale. I had an idea for a video. Well, I had an idea for a song, which was basically produced by Peter Honeygale. There was only one person that I knew that could fit the tune, and that was Baby Boom. Now, I had worked with Baby Boom before on my Cornerstone album. He has a drive about him. It was a no-brainer, and obviously, he was in, and he is in, Back to the Future's um, publishing books. And he also got his own production company called Rebel World. So it was a no brainer that we, we were to get to work on this thing. Now, making the tune and making the video, I never had this in mind, not at all. I just wanted to make a good piece of music and a good set of visuals to represent the music because it's standard, you know, and to make it more, you know, entertaining, I guess, considering the fact that I don't really do dubs and the subject matter was basically a sound system thing. So that was um, the, the concept behind it. So big up Baby Boom. Thank you so much for your collaborative works. And this means a lot to me in respect of that. Now on the other end of the scale, I received an award for the best single, which was a tune called Hard for Hangar, which features Granty Asher. I was approached by Conroy Star Vibes to collaborate on Granty's track. The track was basically about the slave trade, the modern slave trade, as it were. The song was already already written. They asked me to contribute what I could to the project, and it was a done deal. But I didn't do it with this in mind. I just done it because I wanted to contribute as best way as I could on Granty's platform, on Starvise platform as well. That is why those two awards means a lot to me. The honorary award I received alongside Michael Gordon, who received the runner up for that. And it was a touching moment for me because he's an icon to me. I was listening to his tunes, watching him tread the boards before I even started to tread the boards. So for me to be on stage with him winning 
an honorary award meant more than you could ever know. It wasn't even a thing of being in first and him being in second. It was the fact of me and Michael being on the stage together. Again, <laughs> in a different capacity. And that's what humbled me. So with all the congratulating that was going on at the venue, on social media, of course, you're gonna have a minority of people that's going to be criticizing the event, criticizing how the process basically took place and yada, 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 yada. Now, all I have to say is this. If you know how better it should be done, then do it. If you know how better it should be done, then you do it. If you're willing to basically sponsor an event on the basis that it should be done the way you think it should be done, then do it. But if all you're gonna do is basically just give it bunny, give it rabbit, give it large, and you don't contribute top hunts, ear penny, drop penny, nothing, then how do we progress? For the fact that somebody did, and they did, I respect that. And being paid regard, I respect that. Because there was a lot of artists, producers, promoters attending that event that paid the event regard. And that can only be a good thing. Now, there are people who didn't turn up for whatever reason. And whatever reason it is, I respect that. There's a saying that I've taken to my heart for a long time, is that no matter how much I might not agree with somebody or I might not like a person, I wish them success. I don't wish them no ill. But if I don't like them, I don't like them for a particular reason. And that, you know, is a human thing. But within a fraternity industry level, there's room for change, there's room for growth, and there's room to build bridges. And that's what I'm about, because what I put above all of that is the music. The music is really important for me, always have been. And when I make music, I don't make music for these. But then when I get regarded for one, two, three, and all these other awards that I've got plastered in inside here it shows me that i'm doing something right and i can only give thanks for that what happens now what do we do now we can help push the thing forward or we can still be sitting down here bitching and moaning and complaining that this ain't that and this ain't that and that ain't this and this ain't. we can still be doing that but if you're not doing something then how do you expect change to be affected all i can do is make music to the best of my ability. Hopefully give people the opportunity to share my platform, share my stage, share my fan base, as much as I can share their fan base as well in pushing the thing forward. Because it's not about how many world tours I can do in my career. It's not about how many places I can tour the world and this and that. It's all about music for me. That's why I put the music above this above tours because after all is said and done when you're too old to do anything when you're not mobile to do anything then you have to basically sit down look at yourself and say okay what have i done what have i given what legacy will i be leaving that's what you gotta ask yourself chart position might give you a temporary fix touring might give you a temporary fix but people ain't gonna remember tours they'll remember it for the moment but it's the music Okay, let me just rephrase it another way. Tours and awards, chart positions come and go, but it's the catalog that lasts forever. So in summary, I wanna thank everyone who attended. I wanna thank Lady TLC and her team. I wanna big up all the nominees, runners up, recipients, and I wanna big up my brethren and my colleague, Kennedy, President Mensa. So that is it. That's all I can say right about now. So with that, I'm gonna bid you guys adieu. So until the next time we link up, people stay blessed and you don't know the coup. People, please abstain from foolishness, even your own. And until I link you guys on the next one, people stay blessed. <laughs> My God. Abstain from foolishness